primary election in Colorado is tomorrow. The race to watch on the Republican side, the Senate primary. Cardio News Channel 13's Eric Fink is live with a preview. And Eric, this race will, will determine who will challenge incumbent Democrat Michael Bennett. Yes, Heather, tomorrow night we should know who Michael Bennett's challenger will be this fall. And this race was once thought to be one of the most competitive in the nation. But now, as this primary campaign draws to a close, one expert gives the GOP little chance in November. Got the seal ready? Yep. 24 hours to go, and voters are hustling to return their ballots. Five Republicans look to challenge Democratic incumbent years, Michael uh, Bennett. Springs businessman Robert Blaha, former Aurora City Councilman Ryan Frazier, El Paso County Commissioner Daryl Glenn, former CSU Athletic Director Jack Graham, and former State Representative John Kaiser. This race will be remembered as a lost opportunity for the Republican Party. Colorado College Professor Bob Levy has studied the Colorado political landscape for close to 60 years. Michael Bennett, the Democrat incumbent, looked vulnerable, and it was an obvious opportunity to recruit a strong candidate. With a group of second string candidates without much difference between them, there really is very little incentive for registered Republicans to turn out and vote in this primary. Few cars drive up to the ballot box. We're going to have probably estimated 30% back, so that means 7 out of 10 voters haven't exercised their right to vote. The near 30% right now in El Paso County is fairly high. Turnout statewide is about half of that. And right now at this late stage, it is too late to mail back your ballot which means you have to come here or to one of the other drop-off locations if you want your vote to count. Glenn emerges as the late favorite with several key endorsements from solid conservatives, including one from Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Bennett's bringing in millions as he readies for the general election. But in what has been an unpredictable year, Levy says the Republican who comes out of the pack could win. If there's a Republican sweep, if Donald Trump really gets the vote out for the Republicans, they could ride in on Trump's coattails. And ballots must be turned in by 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We will have up-to-the-minute results on our website, and you can head to our website, krdo.com, to check out the interviews I did with all five candidates. Just click on the Decision 2016 tab. Live tonight, Eric Fink, KRDO, News Channel 13. Eric, thanks. Health officials will...